Well howdy folks, it's Rick here at the Luminary Shop. As many of you know, I've spent the last few months during the winter down in Arizona. My wife and I have, joined, have enjoyed the warm weather and a little respite from the Montana storms and winter. Of course, I think we've had the two biggest storms of the winter since we got home. But that's kind of the way things go. Well, I've been home for about a month now and I've just been trying to get caught up and get some of my customers ready to go for the spring driving season. And we'll get into some of that work a little bit later in this video. But first, I wanted to share with you just a little bit of the things that we experienced in Arizona during the winter. Okay, well some of you folks have been wondering what I've been doing all winter. I'm down here south of Tucson with a couple of buddies. We're along the uh, border wall of the United States. I don't know what you think about that, but provided a lot of jobs and uh, we'll see what it does for security. The Sonoran Desert Museum at Tucson, Arizona has a free flight raptor display. We spent some time just hiking through the desert, observing the wildlife and plant life. North of Tucson, there's some really mature desert, with some of the cactus well over a hundred years old. Near Wilcox, Arizona, there's a seat on the edge of the desert where over 33,000 sandhill cranes spend the winter. There's a little flock of snow geese mixed in with the sandhills. Okay, back again and let's get started on some lamp work. In this video I'd like to feature some of the work of two artisans, craftspeople that do work for me that really makes what I do shine. Diane Scalise is a master engraver and we'll get to look at some of what she does a little bit later in the video. But right now I'd like to show you what Bob Habeck of Billings, Montana does for me. Now, among Bob's many talents is his amazing woodwork. Bob does repairs and replacement of details on Victorian houses, antique furniture, and custom woodwork. He's even been known to do a little bit of wicker caning on occasion. But what is especially valuable to me is his work doing hand beveled glass. For this fire lamp, I need to make a new front door with beveled glass in it. Bob made this glass exactly to my specifications so it fits to the front of the lamp and I can make the frame for it.
A little earlier in the video, I mentioned Diane Scalise. Diane is a master engraver in the Firearms Engravers Guild, and she's also a master engraver for Colt. She teaches engraving in Big Sandy, Montana, and she splits her time between Big Sandy and East Glacier Park, depending on the time of year. I'm really fortunate to have Diane do the engraving on the candle caps in these 1800s vintage lamps. This is an example of some of Diane's work. Each letter is individually carved by hand with a graver. She reproduces every small detail from the weight of the lines of the letters to the little ticks on each branch. I'll silver plate these copper candle caps by using this solid silver bar. For silver plating, I set my plater to 10 volts direct current. A pickling agent prepares the surface and gets it ready to accept the silver molecules. The coatolite is a cyanide-based solution that provides a pathway for the silver molecules to migrate from the silver bar to the copper cap when the electricity is turned on. An application of Flitz metal polish will shine this candle cap right up. And lastly, I'll fill in that engraving with printer's ink.
Well that's it for this video. I hope to see you next time when we'll get into some more projects working with antique carriage lamps. Until then, thanks for watching.